This video is being brought to you by Satisfy Gaming. Make playing your Switch in portable mode super ergonomic with the Satisfy Gaming Grips. They also have case and grip bundles that let you keep the grip on your Switch and store it safely in their high quality cases. These grips make using your Switch in portable mode as comfortable as a pro controller. Use the code REVIEWTECH10 to save 10% off your entire order. Link below in the description. So if you remember just recently, I posted a video where someone was showing they already experienced Joy-Con drift on the Nintendo Switch Lite. But there was some speculation that that video was fake, someone was holding a wireless controller to make it seem like there was Joy-Con drift. Well, I don't think that video was fake. There's other people coming forward now saying that they're getting analog stick drift on their Nintendo Switch Lights after just 20 hours of use. And now the Nintendo Switch Lite is being added to the class action lawsuit against Nintendo regarding Joy-Con drift. This could be a world of hurt for the company. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So Joy-Con drift for the Switch has been a thing since the console's inception back in March of 2017 when it was first released. People were complaining about it for years, saying, look, I stopped moving my analog sticks and my character keeps moving. And you see, whether you're playing a first-person shooter or Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's still motion going on. It's still registering movement. And that used to happen to me, like I said in my previous video, a lot with my 360 controllers. Haven't experienced it with this yet or on my original Switch yet, but a lot of people have, and people have been begging Nintendo to resolve this issue. Now in the States, if you call up Nintendo, it doesn't matter how old your Switch is, and you say there's Joy-Con drift, they're gonna fix it, no questions asked, because they know it's a problem. And there's a class action lawsuit being filed against Nintendo for the Joy-Con drift. I talked about this recently too. The law firm Chemicals Schwartz Kreiner and Donaldson Smith have officially filed a lawsuit. This was actually back from July 19th, and this is what the lawsuit has to say. Summarized, CSK and D has filed a class action lawsuit against Nintendo of America, Inc., Nintendo, for claims related to alleged defects in the Joy-Con controllers that are part of Nintendo Switch gaming consoles. The complaint filed in the United States District Court for the Western District of Washington alleges that the joysticks on Joy-Con controllers are defective, leading users to experience drift issues. Specifically, the complaint alleges that the joystick on the Joy-Con controllers will automatically register movement when the joystick is not being controlled by the user and interfere with gameplay. The complaint filed on behalf of purchasers of Switches and Joy-Con controllers brings claims under various consumer protection statutes as well as various warranty and common law claims. Now, if you remember recently, I posted a video where I showed that a YouTuber, Alexis Javier, or Javier, if I'm saying his last name wrong, I apologize. He was showing that he was playing Breath of the Wild on his Switch Lite and he was having Joy-Con drift. And you could take a look at that now. Now, many people, I was hearing rumors that Alexis Javier, that was, he was just doing a prank and he had a Joy-Con in his hand connected wirelessly via Bluetooth and was making it like there was Joy-Con drift. I know that could have been a possibility, but I couldn't get any confirmation of it. And I just, why would he do that? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would you may do something like that people have before but it just doesn't make any sense so i kind of believe that the joy con drift on his switch light was real and now there's other people coming forward saying after just 20 hours of play on the switch light that they're getting joy con drift issues one person said i beat Link's awakening over the weekend on my original switch light system i had only put like 20 something hours on it and it started to show joy con drift why is this happening earlier than on the earlier Switch, meaning the original model? Another person said who filed in this complaint, I can't believe it. My Nintendo Switch Lite is already drifting. I was playing Breath of the Wild and the camera kept moving without touching the analog stick. I tried to calibrate and update the controllers, but it was still the same. So first and foremost, I have to be objective. This just came out. Okay, September 20th, the Switch Lite just came out. If your Switch Lite is already experiencing Joy-Con drift, go get it exchanged. You don't even have to have an extended warranty. Most places have at least a 15-day 
warranty period and you're still under that, go get your Switch Lite exchange if you're experiencing Joy-Con drift. Secondly, if a thousand people out of the millions of these that will be sold are only ones experiencing Joy-Con drift, that isn't a widespread problem. It isn't like the over 50% failure rate with the Red Ring of Death with the original Xbox 360. But I know with the other Joy-Cons for the regular Switch, a lot of people are having that problem. It is more alarming. And like Spawn Wave Media showed, these analog sticks are practically the same inside. Maybe a different part number, but there's no difference. So more than likely, they're going to have the same issues. Now on a regular Switch, these are Joy-Cons. You could pull them off, get new ones, or even if you send them back to Nintendo, go buy another pair. It's still annoying. <laughs> Joy-Cons are not cheap, but it's not as devastating of an issue. You could resolve it quickly, okay? And just buy new Joy-Cons or send out your other Joy-Cons and use other ones while they're getting fixed. If these analog sticks start to drift and are unplayable, that's the whole system being defective. That's a much bigger problem. That's a Xbox 360 Red Ring of Death caliber problem. And it's, if this becomes widespread where everyone's experiencing Joy-Con drift on their Switch Lite, that makes for a defective console, not just for a defective controller. And that becomes a much bigger problem. And my fear is if this becomes a problem and all there's many people with analog sticks that are becoming defective and drifting on their Switch Lights, that could tarnish the brand of the Switch. And that could start hurting sales. People are not going to want to go out and buy this console for themselves or for their children or whatever the case may be, knowing that these analog sticks are going to break prematurely. Nintendo, I hope you thought about this, man. I really hope this doesn't become a widespread issue. But these, I got to keep it real. These feel the same as they do on the other Switch. And if the same tech is in here that gets defective quickly and starts making the Switches drift, or starts making the analog sticks, I mean to say drift, that's bad news. That is bad news. You may have your own red ring of death problem on your hands, Nintendo, and I'm surprised you didn't try to resolve that issue before you released the Switch Lite. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's not jump to conclusions yet. But right now, things for Nintendo and the Switch brand aren't looking good. Hopefully they can turn things around. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.